pricing. Uh, let's get Jason Thomas on the line. JT, what's up? How are you, man? I'm good. Been on uh, been on an airplane all day, but that's okay. Yeah, you're back east somewhere. I'm on a plane. Yeah, we uh, we're trying to get our our Supercross commercials filmed and some some smaller projects too. Uh, but the weather is not cooperating thus far, so oh hopefully boy. we can well, get it we can get it done. The weather didn't cooperate at Glen Helen either, JT. Well, some of you came through. Mm. Yep. Well, please, can I get a pew for JT? Oh, JT <laughs> gets a pew. Please, JT, JT gets it. That's a pew. pew. Okay. Pew. Uh, can we just talk about how? Steve was in Evo this weekend, and it looked glorious. It. It, it looked glorious. I'm so Dude, excited. That okay. Well, first of all, uh, I wore the light hydrogen. You did at the at the for the second moto, and the jerk off that took me out, JT, ripped open my knee in my light hydrogen pants. So they are garbage now. Well, so I uh, I have a feeling we can find more for you. I know. I'm just saying. So there goes one set of gear. Thanks, guy. If you had to choose, yeah. what? Which one you want? He liked the red. Evo or light? No, Evo. Yeah, now, good. okay, now, listen, I'm not a fly racing gear expert here, okay? But I need, to, I need to figure out some things here. Okay. JT, the 2021 Evo gear felt pretty much exactly the same as the 2020 Light Hydrogen. Like, I don't get it. Or am I off? Mm, You're off. Yeah, they're, they're significantly different. Okay, thank you. Uh, what is so different about them? Please tell me. I like the fit of both, but... I mean, uh, several things. The cut, the cut's different. Um, the distance between like the crotchal region and crotchal, like, crotchal. The, <laughs> the top of the <laughs> pant is, is a different height. Is it really? The materials, crotchal yeah, the materials region. Are completely different blend. Um, <laughs> really? The okay. Evo, yeah. The, the Evo materials a lot thicker and a lot more durable so, where the white is really just going for performance and lightweight only. So I basically told you like that. I don't know. I don't see the difference between a Yamaha and a Honda to you. Well, I mean, maybe not that drastic, okay. but they're, they are definitely right, a lot right. different. Okay, so I I wore 21 Evo in the first moto and in practice, and then 20. We light, were, we were teammates. Hydrogen. We had the same gear. We did, but yeah. my blue and red A-star boots really Set put the, the package together. Yeah. Looked good with that red. You had a lot of red on. A lot of red. Red, red on blue design. looks really good. Red. <laughs> What's that, JT? Did you custom design another pair, or was that? No, was those that are off the shelf set? ones. No, okay, those those are it. off the shelf. Blue, red and blue, white, and then, eight stars. And Steve, yeah. for you, when you're starting the like the in the crotchal region, yeah. those flex panels and stuff. When you put your crotchal legs, region. when you put your legs out like on a 45, yeah, yeah. like that, yeah, is, yeah. is that yeah. good? They're okay. comfortable yeah. like that. Yeah, all right. He puts yeah, his yeah. feet out yeah. beside yeah. him, way suck, out, suck, suck way, it, it, way out to the so, side. Does the JT is the light uh, waist uh, up higher than the Evo? Okay. It is. That's what I thought. Yep. Is, the Evo pant is a little bit smaller of a pant, too, as far as length. Yep. Um, the 21 white pant is longer. So, and, and I kind of mentioned this in shows lately, is, is our line is expanding. We have, you know, Kinetic Mesh and Kinetic and F-16 and Evo and Light and Patrol and on and on and on and on and on. Um, so we can really start to get specific in some of these cuts. Um, so... Yeah, the Evo is just a little bit smaller, where the white's just a little bit longer. Um, and it's not really like, oh, we did it for this or that reason. It's just to have differences for people. Um, if, if you like a certain way, like the Evo wow. fits my body type a little bit better than white does. And that's okay. I, I, would, I really enjoy wearing the Evo now because of that cut. Um, I like some of the performance stuff of the white, but I think the cut of the Evo fits me a little bit better. I don't see myself going back to my kinetic stuff. No. From Evo. But, I don't. I don't yeah, see well, myself going yeah, back. You, if you have that option, right, and that's that's yeah. part of this game is as a customer, sometimes buying Evo isn't an option. You know, you just don't have the budget to do it. So yeah, if you can afford to buy Evo, you should. Yeah, it is significantly better. Yeah, period. nothing wrong and with the, the nothing wrong with the kinetic stuff. No. It, nope. it, but nope. but you want to talk about uh, comfort? Know, yeah, comfort. And I, and when yeah, I went I mean, when I had the brand new red stuff, mm -hmm. Max didn't supplement. Supplement, but supplement. I, yeah, but I did have my name and number. Yeah, and a Pulp MX logo on yeah. it. Yeah, I feel like Look that good. was more of a of a. <laughs> I mean, I would hope so. What? I hope that was what? like a ha ha ha. Here you go. Here's your shit. Why? What do you mean? The the, the name on the jersey. Why? Because no, that no, is not that a, set. Not uh, that set. This weekend. Oh, okay. No, I'm my, talking my, about the old no, one. No, I mean my Evo stuff. I know, but we had that the lettering. Not the mailbox I letters. know, but this Evo was all like was a great. race team stuff. Yeah. So what I'm saying is when I hit the track <clears throat> on Saturday morning and it just started drizzling a little bit. It was still cold as balls, but it was just drizzling only. It wasn't pouring yet. And 
I went out there, I felt, I mean, and the track was smooth. Yeah. The track was still smooth. I felt like, I mean, factory rider. I'm like, look at me, everyone. Yeah. Look at this gear set. Look Thank at you. Bill now you yeah. Go ahead, JT. Your start technique was factory level. That's for sure. Well, I've been getting some grief over that, JT. So how did you not end up with a better start, though? Uh, when I hit the ruddy, soupy stuff about three quarters down the start, it was bad. Uh-huh. I got a little scared because <laughs> okay. the bike that's started tough. moving. You got to yeah, wiggle fair. it just a little. Bit. Um, which I guess like it was for everybody. Everybody hit it, and I was just, yeah. You're just hydroplaning. Yes. You just gotta let it let it go. Yes, and then I was okay, and then I got totally covered. I had to slow down and pull a tear off. Oh. Yeah, that's I, the worst is when you just can't see at all. I couldn't like, see it. You just go full blind. Yes, and I slowed down because I'm not as good as all you guys to pull a tear off at speed. So I slowed down to pull the tear off, and then I was worried about getting ass-packed by guys behind me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, 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 time I, stamp that, please. No, no, no. Do not time stamp that. Yes. And, uh, and I was worried about getting ass-packed <laughs> over and over. Um, Isn't it weird? You, you almost armadillo yes. just because you think you're going to get ass Yes, packed. yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, anyways, um, yeah, gear was looking good. The gear and, was and good. And I felt, and for the second motos, I changed my boots, yep. my helmet, I put light hydrogen yeah, on. Like good. I felt again like a factory rider. There's times it, to be a soul rider, and there's times that you just feel like that. Like, yeah. I have everything going on. And right. you feel better. Yeah. Thank you. This yeah. is what we've been trying to tell you for how long? The Evo gear is a step up. I'm not going to lie. I don't mind the kinetic. It's fine. It works good. And the kinetic mesh is one. That blue and black kinetic mesh is, I mean, that's that's one of my favorites. Yeah. But. And you were adjusting the boa yes. before the second moto? Yeah. I saw you doing that on yeah. the start and getting it dialed I in, getting like it that, ready. Yeah. I feel like good. the boa stretches out. Well, after new, when it's new. Like breaks in. Breaks in. Yes. JT, yeah. But how cool is it? What? The boa, like, I don't. Which part of the boa are we talking about? The like, waist. The waist. Um, I don't know. I mean, okay. it it, it but, probably breaks in a tiny bit, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't change a whole lot. Okay. But even either way, it was. I just I just noticed when standing there, I noticed you sitting on the line with uh, Kiefer with, 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 with bank robber. Yeah. With bank robber mask there right, beside right, you, right. just <laughs> making googly bank robber face. Right. Anyway, but yeah, you reached back and tightened that up, and I thought that's that's cool because I didn't really notice that that's the gear you had on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. cool to have that opportunity. I gave it a couple of clicks on the line for you. Did you? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so JT, uh, going into this race, I, I talked to you and Max over there at that Fly Racing, and uh, we worked out a contingency program. I didn't meet the top level of the program, but I met one level of the program. How are we thinking, JT? What are we What are we doing? Uh, well, I was on a plane all day, so I did not get to work on it. I'm not sure if Max worked on it, which knowing him, he probably did. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh, dial you in with a a Steve Mathis fly racing social media post. Now, wow. Having said that, okay. My, my question is, will you be okay if we work in Kiefer into the post as well? Because no, won. no, 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 absolutely okay. not. Okay. And when you say and when you say work in, do you mean like carousel and Steve's like the fifth photo? <laughs> no, Is that I what just, you mean? I just like to like shine Chris, light Chris, on both of them for their great weekend. Fuck but apparently you. Steve, Steve wants his Fuck own time. You. Hmm. Fuck you. Yeah, no, I get my own <laughs> social post by myself. <clears throat> top ten out of twelve. Uh, I got seventh <laughs> out of 12 guys, <laughs> and I want that post. Uh, it's almost 50%. Yeah, which would put you like a five. Yeah, it's a five. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. five. Sounds about like right a five. Yeah. yeah. So you see, you see, I'm trying for you here, Kiefer, and, and yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting hate. I Make know. another post for this idiot. I mean, he got lucky too. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I mean, he, he, lucky. Uh, uh, Randy. Well, yes, thank you. Hey, that JT, be two. I, don't, I don't know how much I told you or if you were paying attention, but Randy, go around here, fly racing athlete also. <laughs> uh, coming up the second turn, JT, up, up uh, I don't know if you remember Glenn Helen, but coming up the first turn, it's. You it's, don't uh, know if I remember Glenn Helen? Well, the layout. <laughs> the layout <laughs> nightmares about it. The layout now. I don't, yeah. times. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if they even ran this for JT. Okay. After Talladega, yes, this you is come sad. over, you make a left up a hill. Yes. Are you always. familiar with that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly aware. They made, they made three berms going up this hill, Lord. Showy Hill. It was Showy Hill, I think it's called. I think it was. Uh, they made three inside lines. Randy gets advice to use the inside line up the hill for his moto. Uh, he goes inside, first lap, he falls. <laughs> He's at the base of this hill on a 250F, and he has to clutch the shit out of it and get up the hill. Second okay. lap, he takes the middle line, he falls. <laughs> Now he's stuck at the hill. He clutches it and has to make it up the hill. 
Third lap, he takes the outside line. He makes it, JT, but a guy comes over on him right out of the turn and takes him out. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome, JT. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, don't leave, you know, leave out. Uh, don't leave any stone un- unturned. <laughs> hey, fourth lap, you, fourth lap, he clears it. Fourth lap, he goes outside. He makes it, JT. He knows we're all watching him. He fist pumps at the top of the hill. <laughs> As you should. Yeah. Right. As I should. Yeah. As he should. I don't know. I don't know where like the San Andreas fault is, but I know gravity for me was a lot stronger in that one corner. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. Down all right that there. first so, moto. So Randy was race eight, JT. After those motos that they saw him, <laughs> they do stopped that. it. They stopped the they racing. They rerouted the track. <laughs> they rerouted it for my moto. Thank you, Randy. You're Thank welcome. You. Yeah. You're and, welcome. And, and in true Glen Helen fashion, do not warn anybody no. the no. next race. No. You just see cones, and you're like, <laughs> oh, shit. I guess, we're go- I guess we go around it now. I was on the line with the guys. They're like, they're, and everyone's like, gang, 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 gang. For like three minutes, I'm like, hey, I got to call him everybody. The flagger or the starter guy ain't doing shit. <laughs> so I'm like waving everybody. Hey, calm down. There's a tractor. There's a tractor. Everybody's like, gang, 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 gang. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the tractor's out there three to four They're minutes. They're sitting out about a dozen everyone's cones. everyone's yelling at me going, hey, hey. What are they doing? I'm like, fuck, I think they just rerouted you guys. <laughs> Race nine, nine through 12, and then, you're and, rerouted. You're and welcome. they're like, oh, where? I'm like, I, I don't exactly know. I can't see <laughs> over like, the fucking the hill. Now. <laughs> so and then you have all these guys, gang, gang, gang. Wow. And, they, and then they get to that point, and they almost all just stop <laughs> over the hill because they don't know where they're going. <laughs> they, they I just sabotaged the whole moto. I sabotaged the whole fucking moto. They should have had like a man at work sign on that tabletop Dude, before. Dude, yeah. Like, <laughs> Glenn Helen, imagine that. Slow well, for the cone zone, Listen, man. last yeah. year, la- we talked about this last year. We talked about this last, last year in Galdi's moto. They rerouted it. That's right. At the beginning of the I moto. Forgot. And halfway through the moto, they rerouted it back. They were flagging and said, go back the other way. Go back the original way. <laughs> he was like, ah, ah, ah. the world championships, everybody. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, good times. So I can't wait for my social post. Everybody stay tuned to Fly Racing on Instagram. And uh, I am getting- I can't believe you actually raced. I thought this was like a no way, you're out, not yeah, happening. I know. Thank you, JT. You know what lured him? I know. You know what I got him with? The one-day format, JT. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. fair. Because JT checked out Sun. Oh, no, Parabinos. <laughs> texted me said you had dnf dnf because i was entered <laughs> oh, for sunday oh you did yeah i said no paul i didn't even show up but he was paul was thinking that glenn helen sabotaged my bike oh yeah yeah because he loves glenn helen right, so right. much yes yeah. paul is very glenn helen pro yeah. pro big glenn fan helen. um so jt also we're going to talk about this more in the show but let me ask your opinion of this and you're certainly you're much more of a racer than this guy over here the tire guy and you're much more of a racer than than the guy in front of me here so you're gonna side with me i know this because we always agree on everything so um, when you start <laughs> next to a person, JT, off a start, okay. right? You're okay. right yep. next to the guy. Here it comes. Yep. When this guy immediately, okay, when this guy gets the jump on you, unfortunately, let's say you just didn't quite have the, the jump that you needed, which was me, my fault, my bad on that part. Uh, and this guy immediately cuts over. I'm talking, JT, uh, three like feet. Carabino style? Oh, I don't know. Does Paul do this? Oh, Parabinos is the king of that. Like, immediately <laughs> swerve your direction to cut you off and make you wet off. This guy cleaned wait, wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Cleaned me out five on, feet out of the gate, JT. Okay, go ahead. He cleaned me out five feet out of the gate. I was dead last. Uh, do I have a right to be angry? Oh, well, you think you know what I'm going to say. Of course. I would be doing donuts in that guy's pit area. <laughs> right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank gang, you. gang, 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 gang. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had some words with this gentleman after the race. He was unaware of what he did. Look at Unaware. JT, I'm viewing this from the back. I see Steve pull in. This guy stopped. I'm like, okay, here we go. The guy looks back to, like, go dap Steve down, like to bro him down, you know? After the race. Yep. After the race. <laughs> <laughs> and... Steve just was like, not no, bro, this is not that kind of conversation. <laughs> no, this is not good job. This is not good job. <laughs> not good and, race. And, 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 JT, I was catching him from dead last. Oh, boy, he was the ever. And this guy was going to be in a world of hurt if I got him. You're like Cujo. Just hey, coming he, for him. He, he yes. He, he gave tits to Tom, Tom Hawk. He was going to give that guy a T-bone. Look, at, I've never seen Steve push down off of a jump like to get the – like this son of bitch is in the air. Dude. Get this shit back down ASAP because I got I places saw, to go. I, I looked over. I'm like, I'm catching this guy. I'm ca- and then 
so Jen JT, I'm angry. I'm trying to ride harder. I'm getting more tired, and I'm fucking up the berms, right? Because I'm so. And then oh, he yeah. and he got me, and, and, and so the track. yeah, yeah, totally. Because yeah. once I was riding well, and once I saw I was catching him, I started pushing, overriding, and then it was over. Yeah. And then he tried to bro me down. He tried to dap him down hard. I'm like, oh boy. Yeah. So did, was he just out of control off the start or what? Yeah, I think so. But I, the, I don't but, uh, think it was on purpose. What did you say? Can we talk about that? We will later. Okay. But here's the thing, though, so, JT. Let's go, hold on. JT, let's go back to this. You said the guy got the jump out of the gate. You as a racer, an experienced racer, JT, more Supercross main events, right, than, yeah. than any of us collectively. Yeah, right? yeah. I think he's got so, one. Well, we got so, one yeah, among the three of us. Yeah, I don't got much over here. <laughs> we got one. <laughs> so JT said the guy got the jump and cuts over, and JT, you said, and it makes you have to do what? Let off. Okay. Oh. That, I think, is where we're going to explore the blame pie in the conversation as far as, like, what responsibility you had in this, Steve, in the incident compared to the gentleman that made the left. He almost took the guy out next to me is what I heard. <laughs> not just me, but the guy next to Old me. Domino Dan. Yeah. Right. He was going to take him down. How do we not have this on video? It's... It's someone on Twitter said they have it. Really? Yeah. I, I, you told me somebody yeah. said it. Someone on Twitter said they have it, so we need to see it. Are they holding yeah. out for money? Or what? <laughs> I think so, yeah. They probably are. I, I think, think so. what they're going to do, I think maybe they're going to edit it into that pro circuit, like the shop, the video? shop cleaning yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. 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 Put it at the it. tail end of that, yeah. Uh, unbelievable. Um, so thanks, JT, for the gear and the support and the upcoming social post. Thank you uh, for that. Yeah, you... I, see, I, like, I, I think you have to, in, in that class, okay, it's what? Plus forty five intermediate. Yes. Is that what class we're, yes. We're in? Okay. There's gonna be there's gonna be some some loose things happen in that race. Like not everybody's gonna be completely in control <laughs> at all times. <laughs> Guys if falling in the same turn over and over yeah, three, like I did three times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you were if, if this was Paul Parabino style, which is on purpose, Paul's a great great starter. He raced professionally. He does it on purpose. He wants to make that person let off, so he he gets the start. If that was the case, you have every right to set fire to the easy up. But if <laughs> he did mean to, you kind of just got to shrug your shoulders and say, eh, I'm at Glen Helen. This is what I signed up for. This is what happens at Glen Helen. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where I'm at on it. So you're saying you have to be a little more understanding. Well, we don't know. So? Perhaps this gentleman did it on purpose. We don't know. He did, well, I'm telling you this. If, if he did it on purpose... He's not going to be dapping you up because he's going to know that you're going to be pissed. Yes. That, that's that's from, my opinion. From the form that I looked at that you both had, mm -hmm. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> he was not a professional. He was not doing it on purpose. <laughs> you know what? He was RM Army, and those RM Army riders are fucking shady. And that's they're pissed off at you that you left. It's a lot of power to harness. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, we have some questions for you, JT, on the phone here. Let's uh, let's get to them. Uh, flyracing.com. Jason Thomas. Uh, first up, it's Jason. What's up, man? What's your question for JT? Hello, Jason. Hey, you there? Yeah. What's your question? Hey, Steve. Jason Reed. How you doing, buddy? Long time. Yeah, man. What's Just going on? I want to tell you, I don't know much. Appreciate all the content. Make the uh, drive between Fresno and Bakersfield go by quick. Hey, I got a question for JT. I probably could have texted him, but. JT, if it's out already or they're coming out, how are the laminated tear-offs coming along for the Zone Pros? And my yep. second question is, I know Fly Racing and OGO have partnered over the last couple of years. They used to make a travel bag the size in between the 9800 and the layover, and I can't remember what it is, and I'm just curious, is kind of Fly looking to ever do that middle bag uh, in conjunction with the OGO partnership? So first question, we do have laminate. Uh, we've probably had them for about a month now. Um, so, yeah, our, our goggle program is, is wide open. We have athletes. That's part of why I'm here this week is to do some, uh, some filming for that new goggle and, and our athletes for 2021 uh, so that they're available uh, right now. And then the second okay. part of that, so the, the OGO thing is uh, it's interesting because for those that don't know, um, OGO is under distri different distribution, and they are distributed by a direct competitor of Fly Racing. So it's it's uh, it's okay. Like the, the relationship is good and fine, and everything's okay. But it's still really strange. Like it's I don't want to say it's strange because it's not. We we everybody gets along, but it's I think like expanding the program or really venturing into new projects. I don't know that either side really wants to go that way, right? They don't want to try to push us into 20 you know the next generation of uh, i don't think of of that and also for us getting further you know uh invested into a competitor is is also problematic so 
we're kind of in this weird limbo where everybody's kind of happy. Like I'm sure they're making money off of fly racing being a customer and they also provide a great product. So we're happy on that end too. Um, but yeah, kind of the, the offering that we have now, I don't really see that expanding as far as OGO goes. Okay. Fair enough. So anybody online, do you guys remember the name of the bag that I'm talking about that size in between the layover <laughs> and the 9,800? I just can't recall it or I can't I, find it. I, I have one. I know, I know what you're talking about. I have it's one. It's a terminal, I believe. I think they're right, JT. That's yeah. it. That's it. Thanks, yeah. JT and Randy. Right. No Thanks, man. Hey, Steve. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Uh, next next question. Michael, what's your question for Jason Thomas? What's up? Hey, man. Um, I saw uh, on Instagram uh, Waldo Motorsports was doing a fly ride day um, at the end of November yep. um, with Bradshaw. I'll, I'll be there. Um, yeah, I'll be there. Just, Where, is uh, just, Where is it? Where is it? Waldo. Just oh, Waldo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I'm assuming, do you have to have fly gear to to ride there to the day? Uh, no, you you definitely do not have to. Uh, I would I would love for you to, but no, that's not a yeah, that's sure. not a requirement. Um, really, you know, these ride days that we do, first and foremost, they are centered around dealer involvement. That's why we put them on. But of course, we we invite consumers to come out, and and there always are some. Sometimes, you know, people just show up to ride. They have no idea that we're even putting on that it is a fly racing ride day. Um, but yeah, we have all of our stuff there. We'll have equipment there that you can come and check out and try on and all that stuff. So okay. first and foremost, it's dealer appreciation. We love to get dealers out riding. And then second, we get to interact with consumers. And, and if you haven't ever tried it, you can come over and I can teach you all about it. Yeah. What, what, cool. What's the problem here? Why don't you got fly gear? What's happening? Um, I don't know. Just been a, I guess a core, uh, Fox guy. Oh, or shit. Michael, <laughs> listen, I just wore an Evo this weekend and, uh, it's phenomenal. It's amazing. Hey, man, I'll try it out, man. Um, I I can appreciate loyalty. No, no, no. no. I would love to walk you through the things that we have, (laughs) Yeah. but I I have a thing for loyalty. So uh, if you kept on keeping on with what you're wearing, I would would totally respect that. No, Michael, go over there. Talk to JT. Go look at Bradshaw. Go look at that stuff. Try on that formula. Try on that formula. Oh, my God. That's no bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, That's straight up, dude. That that helmet's really good. Yeah, it's it's phenomenal. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, try it out. I'll be driving down from Georgia, so all right. I'll try. Well, listen. Cool. Uh, all Sounds right, good. listen. Uh, we're going to get – you want some oil from Maxima? Oh, hell yeah. All right, sure, we're going to give you a Maxima oil kit, even though you you know, you know don't support the folks at Fly Racing, but you will after the Waldo ride hey, day. Hey, definitely going to give it a shot. MaximaUSA.com. I stay on hold. We'll get you uh, some two-stroke or four-stroke oil. What do you need there? Whatever you need, man. Uh, all right? Two-stroke oil. Hell yeah. Appreciate all it, man. All right, stay on hold there. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll help you out. Uh, Jason Thomas on the show here. Tweet just in from Owen – uh, Jason Thomas should be ashamed letting his elite riders hit the vet nationals without supplemented jerseys. That's what Owen thinks. Well, we, when we when we don't know that he's going racing until like 36 hours before the race, <laughs> it's, it's tough <laughs> to uh, to get that stuff pumped out. But Thank you, is, JT. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. We just didn't really have a lot of notice. Oh. That's what I said, JT. Be nice for a little bit more planning. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right, JT. Uh, quick questions for you before we let you go here. Commercial break coming right up uh, on the show. Christian Craig up next to talk about the new star Yamaha rider after commercial break. Uh, GPs are over, JT. Uh, I'm really surprised that the 222 couldn't make a push. Uh, obviously, uh, banged up a little bit. Uh, I thought yep. those three rounds at Lomo were going to play into his, into his strengths, and I got to give it to Gumby Geyser. He stepped up. He rode great. Um, you know, and then uh, um, I'm just surprised that Caroli couldn't get up there. Yeah. I mean, first and foremost, guys are earned it, right? He, 100%, he took yes. control of the series and he got it done. It was a little, uh, a bit of a bummer to at least not see Tony battle for it. But I mean, you could really see the injury was taking a toll. And, and I think the lack of practice over, you know, the, the months really started to show up in the season because, you can get away with it for a while. You can just race on the weekends and get away with it. But if it's really hindering your practice to where you're just trying to get through the race weekends and you're not able to train the same way, over the course of a few months, that's going to show up and you're not going to be as sharp as you were and be on the, the edge where you can go race with a guy like Tim Geiser. So, uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to see the battle we were hoping for, but I, I was happy to see uh, TC win, that, win one there towards the end. I think the second yeah. to last round. Yep. He was able to win, so that was pretty yep. cool. Uh, also, too, uh, Gauthier Paul and Clement DeSalle, great riders over a number of years, hanging it up. I'm a little surprised at Paul and He didn't have a great year, but he, you know, he also uh, won the moto a few weeks ago. So, um, 
Good job, Delosos, the MX Panda, and Paul Lynn. Paul Lynn has always been a great guy to deal with for me uh, over the years. Uh, very friendly, of course, this Nations Rides. Uh, phenomenal over there. And I've always enjoyed dealing with Gauthier Paul Lynn. So I'm going to miss uh, miss him on the scene. Yeah, I mean, when I think of Paul Lynn, I'm, I'm always going to think of his Motocross the Nations performances, you know, always. Uh, and he won, I believe he won 12 MXGP events over the course of his career, which is, is really impressive. But no matter what, whatever, you can tell me that his greatest day at an MXGP event or whatever, I'm still going to remember days like in Latvia for Motocross the Nations and him just carrying Team France year after year. Even if he was having a bad year, he would always well, show up for that event and uh, carry Team France yeah. to victory. The Red Bud was that shit. He didn't have a great year that year and showed up at Red Bud and, and rode yeah. amazing. You know what I mean? And, so, and I, I, I have to say that because I was – Many years, I was the one going, man, I, don't, I just don't know. Paul N looks terrible right now. And I, I thought he would be the weak link several years, and uh, that was certainly not the case. Yep, absolutely not. Um, all right, buddy. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks for calling in. Appreciate it. Have fun on the West Coast, on the East Coast there, I should say. It's late there. So uh, thanks for coming in. I look forward to that social post right away. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get it out. Okay. Okay. You'll be the third. Thanks. Later, JT. That's, Later, Jason, that's Jason Thomas. Uh, JasonThomasFlyRacing.com. Please check him out. A couple quick commercials before.